is facing huge challenges. One of them is to keep our planet safe while preserving our European social model. A model that makes us proud. But if we want to fulfill both our social and environmental goals, we need a prosperous economy. Prosperity, people, and planet are the three pillars of the agenda that Business Europe proposes for the European Union in 2019 to 2024. Together with the Commission, the Council and the Parliament, European companies are ready to play their role. A central role, as companies are the main creators of jobs and growth. But they can only play this role if public policies support their competitiveness and lead to economic sustainability. And we can succeed. We have the world's largest single market, with a GDP of 16 trillion euros, 450 million consumers and 23 million companies. But protectionism is on the rise and undermines our growth model. Completing the single market by 2030 could boost EU GDP by 9%. The EU must also remain the champion of free trade outside Europe. 36 million European jobs depend on international trade. That's one in every seven jobs. Having a strong industrial strategy is key. EU industry accounts for more than half of our exports, 65% of research and development investment, and for over 62 million jobs. But our share of global manufacturing dropped by almost 10% in 13 years. Similarly, Europe's share of major global companies has dropped in the last two decades. And today, not one of the top 10 global companies by market capitalization is European anymore. The digitalization of the economy is another crucial challenge. Only four European countries have digital performances comparable to Japan and South Korea, the best performers. We need public policies that accelerate digitalization. Research and innovation translate into new business opportunities, allow job creation, and contribute to dealing with the societal challenges of today. But Europe has just been overtaken by China in research spending. So, the EU and member states must increase R&D investment and facilitate innovation. Europe is one of the most equal continents in the world. The European Union has the highest level of social protection, with expenditures as high as 29% of GDP, significantly higher than, for example, Japan, Australia or Canada. But European unemployment remains much higher than, for instance, in the USA. Women are still less employed than men, and youth unemployment is stubbornly high. To do better, the tax wedge on labour in Europe must go down. And the EU should foster gradual economic and social convergence among member states, encouraging labour market reforms. We must address the skills gap, especially digital skills, which prevent companies from hiring more and weighs on industrial production. In a European Union that facilitates social dialogue, workers and companies should act together for social and economic progress while protecting the planet. Over the past two decades, European industry reduced its CO2 emissions by almost 40% and there is potential to further decarbonize our economy. This transition towards climate neutrality is more challenging for some countries than others. So, for cost-effective energy and climate policies, the EU should recognize the different starting points between its member states. Europe is a leader in innovative technologies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Eight European companies are among the top 20 clean tech companies worldwide. 
to deliver on Europe's commitment to reach carbon neutrality by 2050, the EU will have to bridge a huge investment gap. Already for our 2030 energy and climate goals, we will have to find around 270 billion euros per year. A huge investment. This requires an energy and climate policy framework that fits with these investment needs. Otherwise, Europe will not be able to deliver affordable low-carbon energy at sufficiently large scale. Industry demand for electricity is expected to quadruple by 2050. And reaching our climate ambitions will also have an impact on our lifestyle. Public acceptance is therefore key. We can be proud of Europe's climate achievements. We are reducing our GHG emissions while others are increasing theirs. By 2030, Europe will only account for 5% of global emissions. So we must ensure that our trading partners also reduce their emissions. European companies are ready to deploy their talents, but the challenges are enormous. We need an economically credible plan to reach our ambitious social and environmental objectives. Only then can European companies play a decisive role for prosperity, people and the planet.